Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How you all getting on today? And welcome back to another Scurvy Boys update video. That's that's the name I'm giving these guys. That's I've called them Clan Scurvy, but I'm giving them their own name. From now on, they're being known as the Scurvy Boys. It's been a while since I've done an update video for these. I've been kept busy, but I'm happy to say that the first five guys of the small army slash warband is finished and I'm happy to have them based and everything so down the line I'm definitely going to be getting more of these guys done up as well so enough talking let's just switch down to the table view and have a look at what it is alright so as I said before it has been a while since I've had an update on these guys but the first five men of the scurvy warband are finished and um, it's kind of funny because this guy here wasn't even meant to be part of the warband. He was just a tester model as I was going along. So I threw him in as well. I said, why not? Let's make him one of the scurvy boys. Um, so yeah, so let's run through each one. So we have just this guy. There's nothing special about him because he's just a tester model. Um, he's kind of your basic clan rat. I didn't even do the, the whole trick of uh, taking his tail off. Which is part of which which I wanted to add in as part of a scurvy thing. If you want to be a scurvy member, you gotta clip off some of your tail. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do it with this guy, but maybe down the line I'll cut it off and I'll tidy him up a little bit. So he's kind of okay for now. Here we have the veteran of the unit. This is a really old Skaven model. I think I'm pretty sure it's a Warhammer Quest model or an old Storm from one, something like that. But he's the kind of the old leader, the old veteran of the group. Um, he looks a lot more battle-worn than the rest of them. Love this old school model. Definitely happy to have him in. And then we have one of the more attack-focused looking guys. I'm going to move the rest of them out here so we can get a good look at the whole model. Now the whole point of this guy was I wanted to show that the scurvy lads will use anything. Whatever weapon is closest to them. If they're in a fight, they'll grab it and they'll start going for you. So this guy started using a meat cleaver. It was the closest thing to him. He must have been cutting up some meat or something. But uh, yeah, the shield on him. I love this guy. He's awesome. And here you can see the tail is clipped. I, didn't, I don't think I clipped the tail off this guy. Because his tail is kind of stubby enough. So I didn't have to do it with this guy. But I clipped his tail off. And yeah, I love this guy. I love his paws. Um, yeah, really happy with him. And then we have the engineer of the boat. This guy, let me see, I removed his hand, I remember properly now. I removed his hand, gave him like a like a sword hand, or kind of like a, a play on a hook hand, which turned out really good. And then of course he has the telescope equipment, so the, the warband to know where they're going. Uh, I kind of tried to do a little bit of a, kind of a blue effect on the lens, but... It's okay, it's kind of basic, but it works for now. And then, of course, we have... Let me see, what was I going to call this guy? He is a Warlock Engineer. But the whole point of adding this guy in is that I wanted to have someone who was using a gun. I would have preferred pistols, like two pistols would have been awesome. But this model is almost like perfect for it. The only thing I changed was... Took off the backpack, obviously. And I took out the wires from the gun that led to it and I changed this arm to give him a sword instead of what did he have before? Or oh, a staff. So and I love the base on this guy because he's already on top of a shield um, of the Lottern Sea Guard I think it is. But uh, yeah, love this guy. He's the only guy in the warband so far that has a gun. And I'm really happy with that. So the warband really did come together and this is only the start for Clan Scurvy. This is gonna be a project I'm gonna be continuously doing all the time. So that's the start for now. These are going to be the five original guys. And uh, let me see if I can find them. Up next, I'm going to be doing the units or the. I don't know what to call it a warband or an army. I think I'm going to start calling it an army because I'm going to be adding more into it. The next one is the Sea Lord. This is the head fella of the Scurvy Boys. And it's, it's the old. I'm trying to think of his name. Spike Claw, I think his name was. It's the old Spike Claw model, it's um, an old metal one. So I started to prime him already. I'm definitely leaving his tail on. He's the leader, he gets to keep his tail. Um, 
and plus it's kind of integrated into the body it's going to be hard to remove anyway but if anyone's going to be keeping his tail it's going to be this guy and um, the model is almost too perfect to be a sea lord look at that sword it's massive it's a big perfect sword for being at sea he has a smaller one on this side as well so i'm really looking forward to getting this guy painted and then down the line i'm pretty sure i'm going to be adding this guy in and uh, not really specific for the scurvy boys i might just i might just paint him up in the scurvy boys uh color so he'll be getting done eventually down the line. I only re the only reason I ha I'm thinking about adding him into it is because in the old uniforms and heraldry book, uh, the clan scurvy have a guy, a bombardier guy, or a doom rocket guy. That's what it was. So I was thinking about adding him in, but I'm not too sure yet. But for the next thing for him is this, is the sea lord, and then I have been working on. I'm always adding little bits onto this. I'm gonna have to move the camera right back. I'm always adding little bits onto their boat. That's why I haven't kind of started painting it yet. So like I've started adding in like little things like hair, spikes, little body parts hanging off. Uh, kind of the, the wheels with the Skaven insignias on it. I put a uh, Plague Bear uh, banner off this guy. And I just, I just, every time I'm looking for stuff I'm finding little things to add onto it. I added like a bit of a wooden part sticking out here with all the nails and everything sticking out uh, right here you can see there's like some sheep or a goat hanging off the side that's going to be their dinner a couple of insignias everywhere i'm trying to put as much scave and stuff on it as i can uh, a couple of banners up this way so there's hit one here and there's a smaller one here body hanging off and then i have this giant hand reaching out from the back so the guys have something below the deck there's something in there that we don't know what it is yet, but there's a giant arm sticking out, trying to break, break free. There might be a story behind that in the future, maybe. But for now, I mean, like, there's tons. There's a whole box over here that I've been keeping track of. Extra little bits to add on. So, when I'm happy with the stuff that I've added on to it, that's when I get around to painting it. Like, I have a heap of barrels to put in it. Um, there's loads of things in here. There's, like, some barrels in here that I want to add on. There's a couple of these things, little trapped little doors and everything. So that's going to be getting painted up whenever I get a chance to do it. These guys are ready, so I'm going to have to be moving on to the next couple of units eventually down the line. I'm not too sure what I'm going to add in yet. Like, I don't want to add like like 10 clan rats. I want to, change, I want to have like individual models because it's kind of going to be an army, more like a, like a big war band, I suppose. But that's it for the scurvy boys. Let me know what you think of the model so far. Uh, I think it's a good start. And I can't wait to get that boat started. I'm just looking at it now and I'm thinking, oh god. Like I'd really love to start painting it now. But I know I'm, I'm going to be constantly adding stuff onto it. And I get around to painting it when I'm happy with how it looks. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure to leave a comment and hit the like button. And once again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you have. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.